Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea, and unto the uttermost part of the head. In this place, the Lord Jesus re echo the promise of the Holy Ghost that is given to the church. And as then, so it is today, we need the power of the Holy Spirit. For what purpose? For us to preach the gospel. We do not just have the power for speaking in tongues, we receive the power of the Holy Spirit so we can preach the gospel of God's kingdom. In Matthew chapter 4, verse 23, he said, And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogue, and preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God. That's the purpose of the Holy Spirit, that will be preached the gospel of God's kingdom. Number two, persuading men for Jesus will receive the Holy Spirit power so we can effectively, with the help of the Holy Spirit, with the gift of the Holy Spirit, with the power of the Holy Spirit, persuade men for the Lord Jesus Christ. In Acts chapter 17, verse 2, And Paul, as his manner was, went in unto them, and three Sabbath day risen with them out of the scripture, opening and alleging that Christ must need have suffered and risen from the dead, and that this Jesus whom I preach unto you is Christ, will persuade people about Jesus Christ, that they may be saved, to receive the Lord, and live as Christians ought to live. Number three, of penetration, penetration of difficult territory for the Lord. We go with the power of the Holy Spirit so that those territories that have been before now difficult to be reached for Christ were effectively able to reach them. In Acts chapter 15, verse 3, And being brought on their way by the church, they passed through Phineas and Samaria, declaring the conversion of the Gentiles, and they caused great joy unto all the brethren. We are there with the power of the Holy Spirit, penetrates those areas that seems to be difficult before now because now the spirit of god is given unto us to penetrate difficult territory 